I'm hungry. Dude, what are you doing? If I mean, you add that much, it's gonna swell and spill over. How so? Oats are exactly like what Marilla and I. Don't you remember what we learned in class? Did we? Clays are heavily weathered soils composed of alumina and silica, and the different types of clays have different structures. First, we have kaolinite with a one to one mineral ratio of alumina and silica held together by a strong hydrogen bond. Next, we have illite with a two to one mineral ratio of two silica and one alumina held together by potassium ions. And finally, we have Montmorillonite, which also has a 2 to 1 mineral ratio of 2 silica and 1 alumina held together by an H2O layer and exchangeable cations. Different structures lead to different specific surface areas. Kaolinite has a specific surface area of 15 meters square per gram, illite 80, and Montmorillonite 800. And if you have 7 grams of Montmorillonite, that has more specific surface area than an entire football field. Thus, the swimming potentials of these clays is as follows. Do you get it now? Nope. Let me show you. Oats are like Montmorillonite because Montmorillonite has weak bonds and swells a lot. Illite is similar to Montmorillonite but with potassium ions which are like molten chocolate. Kaolinite has a totally different structure and the strongest bond of all so it is like wheat checks held together by caramelized sugar. Time to add some hot water. As you can see, Montmorillonite swelled the most, Elite swelled a little bit, and Kaolinite barely swelled at all. Montmorillonite swelled so much that the swelling at the top completely cut off flow. I had to poke a hole with a stick to make sure the water got to the bottom. Now do you get it? Now I get it. Yeah!